Bring Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh Ramadan. Audhu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Welcome in our program, Blessings of Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, Alhamdulillah, is being celebrated throughout the world and the Muslim Ummah is enjoying with spiritual benefits. We are gaining so many things, what we don't expect even, but Alhamdulillah, by the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are getting more than our expectations. Ramadan Mubarak, as per Quranic order, Shahrul Ramadan Lazi Unzila Fihil Quran. This is month to recite Quran more and more. To love Islam so that to follow Quranic orders in our lives. Quran itself is Shifa. Quran is a name of cure and treatment from different sufferings, problems, mishappenings, and sort of physical problems. While we say Quran is cure, Quran is treatment, Quran is shifa, all of a sudden we understand that how can we get shifa from Quran, cure from Quran. This is our today's topic. How Shifa can be seen, can be felt, and can be achieved from Quranic verses, from Quranic words. And how Ramadan helps out people to get more and more Shifa from Quran, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Muslim Ummah, to bow down before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for gaining more benefits from the month of Ramadan in shape of Shifa. That's why Quran itself specifies or refers Shifa only Mumineen. This is Shifa or treatment or cure or healing for the Mumineen. Mumineen means who believe that Quranic words would help out us to get rid of from anxiety, depression, other problems, psychological, medical, physical, even social problems can be shunted out from our lives because this month, I mean Ramadan is Shifa, Quran is Shifa and Shifa giver is the only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a medium to understand the philosophy of Shifa. For this we have invited our another brother who would introduce himself inshallah ta'ala and then it would be an informal conversation between us so that you would be a part of our today's discussion to understand how Ramadan is Shifa and how Quran is Shifa. So now I would request our brother to introduce yourself please. Thanks to QTV for inviting me in this great show. I, my name is Irfan Abdul Aziz. I am a student of Islamic studies. I complete my studies from Al Furqan Academy. Uh, Dr. Saab, uh, you ask you ask me about Quran. Uh, but before going to, before us answering to your question, I would like to tell about people that what is Quran all about, where it came from. The thing is that uh, Quran is Allah wa Taala's greatest, one of greatest book. Nabi Akram, Allah wa Taala made a promise to Nabi Akram Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we would reveal a book to you which won't be changed till Judgment Day. And Allah wa Taala says in Quran Majid that we have revealed this book and we are going to protect it. And Allah wa Taala has never said anything about 
any other books, all the four books came to came from Allah Taala. So Quran is very special because it is Allah Taala last book. And unfortunately, that uh, we have this great book, but unfortunately, we don't take advantage from it. We Actually, we have made our own standard that we decided Quran once in our life from Alif Lam to one Nas without translation. Without translation, and you 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 mean uh, that we have not understood the real philosophy of Quran, what to be gained, what to be achieved from Quran. That most of the time we just only start from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin till one Nas. But uh, we don't care about the message of Quran, what is inside, and how it refers to different nations, and how it uh, mentions different aspects of life. If we could have done this, then we would have improved our quality of life, spiritually and socially as well. Yeah, we, actually, we have made a habit of reading Quran without translation. That's why this, this thing happens. We are not able to understand what Allah Taala is trying to say to us, mm. it, it, unless we will read uh, we will read this Quran without translation. We are not going to understand what Allah yeah. Taala has said to us, and we have to understand this. You see that. Uh, Today's Muslim uh, situation, we are just ga ga going behind and behind. We are just divided in different sects. So this is why that we have, we have, we have haven't understood Allah Subhanahu wa Taala message which is given in Quran Majid Subhanahu wa Taala. So, Quranic message is uh, different. What we conceive, uh, uh, this is a, a great misunderstanding that we, we assume ourselves that we know Qur'an. Alhamdulillah, we love Qur'an. But unknowingly, we have not justified properly with Qur'anic teachings. And Qur'anic teachings are the best helping friends, I would call it helping friends, to be here, even in grave and afterward. But unfortunately, what to be done and what should have been done, we don't understand. So following our topic, coming back to the topic, that uh, Ramadan is Shifa. Shifa, the term of Shifa in Arabic is used as cure, treatment, healing, or getting rid of from the problems while uh, we, we, we say that uh, Quran is Shifa, it means that Quran is Zikr. And Quranic Zikr, if we trace back history, even if we uh, look at today's uh, Sufi practicing people, they, they have established their circles not only in Pakistan or India or in specific areas, throughout the world, even in America and Canada, Europe, there are so many Sufi chains. They are practically providing services for the benefits of patients. There are so many patients in the world. Uh, they come to the Sufi Akram. As in past, they used to go and consult Khwaja Mandin Chishti, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Alayhi, Hadrat Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Alayhi, so on and so far. And they believe that once if they go there, they will get rid of uh, from black magic, from physical, physical problems, psychological problems, disability, and they use um, healing water, the water which has, which has been used to drink, uh, a Sufi or a pious person blow on the water and what, what they recite, naturally Quran, yeah. or um, those prayers which have been mentioned by uh, Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and practiced by the Sufi Akram. So while uh, one aspect, uh, Quranic aspect is to get rid of all these problems. Second aspect for uh, such uh, treatment is that Quran is Shifa, that you think of your problem and you will get answer from Quran. Nothing 
There is nothing like Quran in the world that you think and inshallah Quran would resolve your problem. And third aspect for improvement of your spirituality, your status uh, in spirituality connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through zikr, that is Quran. And this is the month, month of Ramadan is the best month to work for shifa, to get, to get more shifa from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So have you, have you um, seen uh, or can you, can you um, uh, tell us about your um, own experience, how Quran is shifa and how people can get more benefits from Quran in this month? Yeah, we can get lots of benefits from, from Quran, but, but the thing is that we have to understand it. Without yeah. understanding, we can't get anything. Because yeah. the, the thing is that we, if we are not going to understand what we are reading, then how can we get Shifa yeah. from this Quran? Yeah. So we have to understand what Allah wa Taala is said and what Nabi has uh, said, to, said to us. Nabi Qarasalam says that I am living behind two things, Quran and Hadith, Sunnah, which is Hadith. Taraktu fikum amrain, kitabullahi wa sunnati. Wa sunnati. Mm -hmm. Don't leave them, grab them tightly. You won't go off the track. So we have to understand Allah Taala and Nabi Qasar message, what they said to us. They said that leave, uh, grab Quran and Hadith. We have, le lo we have left both of them. So that's why, that's the reason why we are not able to get Shifa from Quran, from Hadith, and we are just, as you said, that we are going for people do believe in black magic and things like that, and the, so that sort of stuff. So they are just trapped in this uh, situation because of leaving Quran and Hadith. So uh, you uh, really, uh, I appreciate uh, your comments, and I believe that this is month to improve our qualities and uh, obviously Quran invites people to get rid of your problems to get more and more from uh, this uh, this month in which Quran has been revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Quranic Shifa I am now uh, joining both of these Quranic Shifa during this month of Ramadan becomes more powerful due to our practices. Quran is always powerful, full of energy. Recitation of Quran and the Quranic prayers are most helping uh, elements or factors which help out everybody. Even non-Muslims, they, 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 they believe that Quran is also giving them answers to their questions. While we read Quran and want to diagnose our problem the best way is that if we don't have this capability to understand Quran we should consult ulama yeah. scholars yeah. So, and ulil amri means ulama and also and head, uh, the, your, head your, of the government exactly and uh, those who are your spiritual leaders in, in, in Arabic or in the common language, Murshid, Murshid. these Aliya Karam, friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the sources which must be seen, must be consulted, and Quranic Shifa is very easy during this month. Let's see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked a person to be seen like. So one who becomes muttaqi, himself he tried to act upon Quran and Sunnah. Once if we act upon Quran and Sunnah, we could become alhamdulillah muttaqi. muttaqi. And yeah. taqwa is a, a shining factor from inside because this is your satisfaction from inside. Once if you feel your, your satisfaction inside, your outer circle of face or your surface would be calm and quiet and normal. So would you, would you share uh, your, your your viewpoint for Shifa? As I told you before that uh, Shifa, you can get Shifa, you have to understand Quran. And we have read uh, Qurans lots of time and we find it very amazing. I mean Quran, uh, Quran is a, Quran holds a religion book. But you can see that Quran has covered a lot of topics like evolution of the earth, talking about civilization of the past, and paradise and hell. So Quran has covered a lot of topics, but the main topic of Quran is 
گائیڈنس اللہ تبارہ تعالیٰ سے اس کو انکرائی سورہ بکرا شہر رمضان اللہ زی انزلا فی القرآن حدن للناس that in the month of Ramzan this Quran was revealed the guide this is the guidance for mankind so we have to understand it that this is the complete guidance for us and we have to find out it so guidance is for seeker yeah hum to Allah Iqbal rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi says hum to mail bakaram hai koi sail hi nahi rah dikhla hai kise rah rave manzil hi nahi the greatest philosopher of Muslim Ummah. We are here to spread our Rahma, blessings. But we don't find anybody who is in search of our Rahma. This is uh, really blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this month obviously providing us opportunities to go down before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek his Rahma. So in last, this is our tradition that our guest, our, our friend, our scholar uh, sees vote of thanks to uh, our uh, viewers I would just like to tell you one thing that uh, Quran is um, a very great book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you take if you want to take advantage from it we have to take several steps read it on a regular basis understand it and third thing is make yourself accountable according to the Quranic words and the last thing is uh, make sincere effort to follow what Allah wa ta'ala has said to you in last, dear brothers and sisters, I'm also thankful to you and I believe today's discussion would be helping us to understand what is meant by Shifa. Shifa from all sorts of problems and the most important Shifa is to understand Quranic guidance. Quranic guidance must be seen and it can be seen practically in this world if we are working for the benefits of human being and we invite people towards welfare work which is Islamic teaching and this welfare work or beneficial work for humanity is a greatest source of satisfaction and this source obviously would tell us what is meant by Shifa if we depart from this world and we understand the meaning of Shifa, by now we would be ready to promote Islamic thought in the world so that the people would love Islam and the Muslim Ummah would be following Quran and Sunnah. May Allah send his special blessings upon us during Ramadan and afterward and give us Shifa for all. Ameen. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته في مان الله and goodbye that is for dhikr remembering Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan oh Ramadan